have there been any flight trials recently recently we have done today today it has happened that is the air version missile this is you know as a developmental part that is you know uh, the air version is slightly different from the uh, general land version and uh, silos version the air version is you know there is a launcher which is fitted to the aircraft because this is a supersonic missile suppose if the launcher and the missile mm. is there and the, if the launcher doesn't release that mechanism mm. and this missile is on mm. it will take even the aircraft at a supersonic speed okay, okay. that is the disadvantage of that <laughs> okay. so it has to get detached huh. and uh, it will be left it will fall to a certain height down mm. the aircraft will go in a different direction Okay. and then only the missile will get ignited that means there is a time lapse of some 5 seconds so that you know the missile really comes down okay because there is a threat to the aircraft the aircraft runs away from once it has dropped the missile yeah. the aircraft has to go in the opposite direction yes to maybe go. just like astra yes is is it the same so, so it is astra is similar but astra is a sleek one only uh -huh. 25 km Okay. maximum range is 25 whereas this missile will go for uh, 800 kilometers okay. today what we have tested is an 800 kilometer range whether it is mm. meeting its path successfully mm. so was it a success so it was very huge success is what okay. then uh, what we are planning at telling you future mm. future this missile you know all the missiles will be converted into 800 kilometer range whether it is navy uh, army or uh, air force mm -hmm. all of us will have the same configuration of 800 kilometers okay. and that will be a real threat to the world okay. in case of uh, misadventure can you give an advice to the youngsters related to drdo and its opportunities as a, you know i feel drdo is a good place to learn mm -hmm. and uh, the freedom of learning is also highly encouraging the our uh, dr g satish reddy he has uh, brought in lot of uh, reformations in the drdo for the youngsters especially who have done uh, aeronautical engineering mm -hmm. who have done on missile technology now the amity is also amity is one of the universities okay. they have a tie up uh, for this uh, missile technology mm -hmm. and its applications there is a course like that so that you know people are trained to how to focus your uh, energy on warhead and other things that means you know your mind is finely tuned to invent methods of destruction mm -hmm. earlier it was not so earlier you know a layman is brought in and he is trained to say that you have to do this way that way now it is not like that it's a focused thing mm -hmm. that i should cause so much of damage in the limited uh, okay. this one that type of technologies have come and uh, when you look at the drdo mm -hmm. drdo is encouraging people there is a lot of eng clusters club and all mm -hmm. where they debate and they have every week you know review as what they have done okay. now there is more accountability which is coming into being earlier it was a paradise to work mm -hmm. now it is not a paradise it is <laughs> like you know the task master is there there is a person who will be asking you with a whip <laughs> what is the progress so that type of concepts have come so uh, i think uh, for youngsters you know it is a good field to venture into mm -hmm. they can learn lot of things technology wise they are also exposed to all the countries like israel now you have seen the drones which are coming like swarm of yes, yes. Uh, flies and all this type of technologies are being encouraged in uh, drdo also okay mm -hmm.